All right, so today I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to do this. I don't know if I can, but we'll see. It's just practice, obviously. So I'm gonna start with the plane this time because I want to. So I'm gonna do scale five. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to tab and I'm gonna go to edge select. I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna extrude on let's say like eight Z. So it goes up, okay, so we have that. And then um, I'm going to go to face select over here, select this face, and I'm going to click on P to make it its own object. And I'm going to get out of edit mode and I'm going to select it and name it wall. And I'm going to name this one floor. Okay. And then from there, um, oh, I should have scaled it before making it. Actually, I could just select both and then scale on the Y. There we go. Okay. And maybe scale this on the X, but I don't, I only want it to shift on one side. Let me see. Okay, that's fine. Um, alright, so. I'm going to apply the scale, apply scale. So, so far, I don't know if I want to do the material thing. Let me not. Okay, so I'm going to do shift A. I'm actually going to hide these for now. And over here, I'm going to do Shift A and I'm going to do a mesh and I'm going to do a cylinder. Mm, I guess that works. Where's the. Okay. I'm going to call this the bottle. Alright. <clears throat> so we're going to go into edit mode and I'm not really sure what I want to do here. Um, turn on x-ray mode. Um, let's see. So maybe control, I don't, I don't really know. Control R, maybe a little bit over here. And then maybe I'll take a little bit of this. Maybe, I just don't want it to go so far. Um... I want it to be narrow, but not so far away. So kind of like that, or maybe what I need to do is select the whole thing and just scale it on the X to make it a little bit like this, and then select this up here, and then maybe scale that, right? And then extrude on the Z. So it looks kind of like that. And then again, I'm going to inset this time. And then extrude upwards on the Z. And then in this, oh, that is horrible. I forgot to, oh my god, why does this always happen to me? Um, just I'm going to make sure I'm scaling everything on the Y as well. It just looks so weird. Now it looks really weird on this side. And this hasn't scaled either, like... It looks so bad. Maybe if I select just this... And turn on x ray. Oh my god. What did I say I wanted to do? I wanted to scale on the Y, so maybe top view. Scale on the Y. But I didn't want to just select the um, face. Hopefully, it didn't do anything bad. Okay. I, I don't know. It looks weird. I do know that I could scale this. Um, what did I want to do? Oh, on the Z. But I can't actually. I can grab it and move it like, like, like a little bit like that. That's fine. Okay. Um, and I feel like this is too big. It's bigger than the bottle. So maybe alt and then like move it, but then no, 
Let me escape. Let's run. I never even. Okay. So maybe, 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 maybe just grab it. I'm gonna see a little bit. I don't know. It just looks disproportional to me. Oh, it's maybe because this. I could always scale it to be like a little smaller. Can I bring it downwards? And then I'll take this part, everything, and bring it downwards. Oh no. Why does it look like that? Why does it look like that, bro? Oh my god. Okay, back to normal. Um, I don't even know why I do this to myself. I really don't. Um, do you want to redo it? I feel like I want to redo it. What if I just scale everything to be like the same scale? I keep messing up. You know what, man? I'm gonna leave it like it is. I don't care. Um, okay, x ray on front view. And then the plan was to get these. No. Right? And then just bring it downwards a little bit. And then scale them, bring them downwards, kind of like that. Um, okay, I think that's fine. So, it's kind of a nice texture, which is really weird. Um, okay, if I'm going to go over here, right, I'm just going to zoom in, go to the front. Whoops, 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 whoops. What was I going to do? Oh, okay, go on. Um, so anywhere I see kind of an indent, I'm going to put, I'm going to actually do three. I should have done three. Oops, I should have done two. Messed up. All right, and I should put like an indent there and then scale. Eh, maybe not. Let me do one and put it in here. I'm trying to replicate this cap over here. And let me do another one and put it here. And another one put it in the middle and then kind of scale. Oh Jesus. Let's do a shift so it does it like nicely. Or you know what maybe I should do? Maybe I should just ignore that one, right? And do control R and do it like here and then do another one put it in the middle that's not the middle control r put it in the middle and then scale that but then it looks so weird maybe if i just do this and i scale it this one's like i don't have i can just take this edge over here and then select this edge. Nope, nope, nope. That's literally not what I meant, but okay. Right? Go to front view and then just scale it. Kind of like that. And then, like, this stuff is like. Another one here. No, because I don't want it to. Yeah, 
kind of like that, right? And then we take this edge. Nope, I just wanted this edge. See a little bit like that. Right, and then over here, let's do another. Control R. And then over here, let's do another Control R. Let's take this one. And never mind. This one's fine. Actually, it's not fine. This one. And then we have another control R. Let's do it this way. And then control R. Scan it this way. Actually, I'll just take this and scan it like that. See? Pretty. So it kind of looks fine, kind of not, kind of like not looks fine, but it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to select everything. We do control A, apply to scale. So now it's basically up for materials now. I also kind of want to try doing this little thing over here. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to move this to the side on the X, right? And I'm going to do... Um, what was I going to do? Oh, a curve, right? And I'm going to do, um, actually, actually, I'm going to do the mesh first. So the mesh is kind of like a circle, so that's really cool. Um, and I think if we go to material properties, no, not materials, object properties, where are they? Is this object properties? Where are object Collection, object properties. I was there. Um, hmm. Maybe I don't see a geometry, so maybe I have to add a modifier to solidify it, or maybe extrude it. I could extrude it though. Um, but you can't even see it. It's, what? I'm confused. I'm like actually confused. So, what if I do shift A? Can I do a surface circle? Yeah, that's not working out. Shift A. But I can give a curve. I don't even know. UV sphere, ecosphere. I do a torus. I can do a torus. Okay. And let me do like. No, it's not that. Um, let's do 0 0.02. Yep, that's what I wanted. Okay. So this is what we have so far. That's very nice. And I think I'm going to keep it that way. Okay. I'm going to do right click, shade smooth. And then I wanted to... I'm going to do a curve. So I'm going to select a curve. I'm going to do a bezier curve. And I'm going to go into tab mode. And I'm just going to click over here. And I'm just going to move it in the shape that I want it to be. That's not what I want it to be. Okay, go up. Um, so I want it to start right like at the bottom. So at the bottom. And then... Let me add like... Can I add a vertice? Um, and then it's, well, it's going to kind of be like that, but I want it to be more curved. So maybe if I extrude it, why does it have to be so long though? First of all, let me hide this for a second. Okay. Edit mode, right? So it looks so ugly. So it's going to do that. And then this one is going to be like that. That looks really bad. I'm trying to replicate the shape of the thing. Um, maybe if I just... What 
Cover. Okay, let's exit. Let's do... What is, what is the difference between path? No. Um... Hmm. I am not sure. Okay, edit mode. And then... This one just goes... Kind of upwards. Right? I'm gonna give it a little bit like that. Okay, I think that's perfect. Um, just scale it. And I'm gonna do control A, apply scale. And then I'm gonna unhide. Nope. Nope. This. And I'm gonna add an array modifier. I'm gonna do fit the curve. The only curve is this one. So that's good. Um, and I'm going to do a curve modifier. I'm going to do a curve, so it's like that. I'm going to do control A, apply scale. And then I'm going to take object set origin to center mass. And then I'm going to do shift S, selection to cursor. And then this one, I'm going to do set origin to center mass volume. And I do shift a no 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 shift s selection to cursor this looks so bad but it's fine let's try to fix it hopefully we can fix it so maybe i want it on the i don't know let me what if it's the curve no 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 no. No. Um, see, that's not what I want. Um, I'm not sure. Hmm, how do I get it to be like <sighs> facing upwards? Like, I don't want it to be like that. Hmm. I guess it's not gonna work out. Okay, we tried though. Anyway, um, did I delete the? Oh. Okay. This is what we have in solid mode right now. I'm just gonna move this. Upwards, thank god everything is a one color. So what I think I'm gonna do shade smooth. No, this shade smooth. Hmm. I can open up a new thing and I could do um horizontal split. But I don't want a horizontal split there. I don't know what here. What am I gonna do now? Okay. No, no, hold up. Join areas. Doesn't matter. Over here, I want to do a horizontal split so that I could see 3D viewport and I could see the material, um, the viewport shading material. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. I'm going to do control S and save it as today's date. So 4 29 22. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start, I think I have a marble, maybe I do, honestly, I don't even know. So I'm gonna do over here, I'm gonna do horizontal split, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go to, can I go to shading? Is it gonna let me go to shading? Shading editor, shading, shading, shading. Really? Shade editor, there we go, yay. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna add a new material. And I'm not sure where I have it, but I'm pretty sure I have it. I'm going to do Control shift t um, If that doesn't work, just turn on your Node Wrangler in your preferences, and then it should work. Okay, um, I have... I have a marble. I do, I do have it. Hold up. Hold on. Hopefully. 
I have a marble. Do I not have a marble? Don't tell me I don't have a marble. I'm gonna have to download it. You're joking. This is annoying. Um, okay, let's do ambient CG. This is like the best website ever. Like, marble. Um, what is it giving? It's giving. Um, what color? I'm not sure. Kind of like this, maybe. It's a clear marble. There's like nothing on it. It's kind of like this one. Okay, I'm gonna download the 4K PNG one. And then we'll wait. And while we wait, um, I'm gonna take the color of the bottle by using my color picker. That's not what I said over here. Yes. Okay, copy that color. And I'm just going to add a new property here as well. And for now, I'm going to go to hex and I'm going to put in that color. And you'll see that I will change here in the material preview. Okay. Now, um, the wall is a sparkly wall. I don't even know what that is, honestly. I don't. Did it? Okay, yeah. Okay, so... Um, why can't I create a new folder? So we're going to have to go to desktop. And in here, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Marvel. I'm going to delete. Nope, that's not what I meant. Take all of this, put that in Marvel. Take all this, put that in Marvel. Take this, put that in Marvel. Okay, so it should be there. Whoops, I forgot one. We're going to desktop, put this in, where did it go? Marble, it was right up there. Okay, um, so the floor, right, I'm going to just do control shift T, again, don't have that, doesn't work, then turn on node wrangler in your preferences. Desktop, and then I have it somewhere, marble, 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 right here, select everything, and then just click principal texture and set up. And then it should work when it's set, when it decides to stop freezing on me. Okay. So we have it frozen. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Frozen again. Okay, so we can kind of see it now. It's very nice. Um, we see some reflection. I have like an HDRI turned on, so that's why we kind of see like tree reflections here. Um, and then I have to find a material for that weird background. Like, what is it, honestly? Um, let me see. Or maybe I can make it an image. Um, maybe if I can go to Unsplash. And I can do, like, glitter background. It's, this one's more like, it's purplish too. It's kind of like purplish, I don't know. Um, what do you call that string? Like the string, um, that stuff that's behind it is the, I don't even know. Okay, I think I'm going to do this one. I'm going to download that. And then I'm going to go here. And I'm going to click on new for the wall, and then I'm going to do base color. Oh, never mind. I'm actually, I'm actually going to go here, because I don't know how to do that here. I think you just, I think, yeah, I do. I just, just do like a texture, image texture. Yeah, there we go. I do know how to do that, <laughs> apparently. Color, and then open. And then just find the image, which should be somewhere, you know? here and it'll look like that let me wait for a second oh my god that's literally horrible so what if i try to mm, what if i extrude it upwards no, no 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 let me go over here right extrude edit mode take this edge extrude it upwards and then maybe what i can do 
is I can face select this entire thing. Why is it two different things? This is so annoying. And then subdivide, 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 subdivide. Oh, that's it's not going to be the same though. Subdivide. This is so bad. You know what I'll do instead? Instead of like doing that, um, I'll grab it upwards. There we go. And then I'll control. I'll get out of there. Control A. Apply scale. And then I'll come back here. Face select. And then um, I'll right click. Subdivide. Subdivide. And I'll just increase the cuts up here. Um, and then maybe. If I could do control A and apply scale again and then put the image, it'll be better this time. I don't know. I'm guessing right now. Okay, this is literally horrifying. I don't know how to do UV mapping, which I know can fix this. So, actually, let me try. Um... Never mind. <laughs> That's not happening. Okay. Um. So we have so far. I'm just gonna give it like a. I'm just gonna give it a color. We just take this color, whatever color that is, and then just give it a color. Like delete this, and just give it a color. There. Purple. Kind of. Um, then, I'm just going to crease this real quick, so it's looking like, I need to add like a text. So, for this, um, I'm going to have to do a plane, I think, right, a plane, and then, where did it go? Okay, um, I'm going to have to rotate it, nope, nope, nope. Oh my god, here we go, and it's frozen. Okay. Um, where are we rotating it? On the, on the Y, okay. So 90. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Why is it all the way over there? Okay. I'm going to scale it on the Z so it's smaller. And then I'm going to bring it back up and then scale it more on the Z, on the X. Get it on the Z. What is going on now? Okay, first of all, let me just join areas. Swap this way. Scale on the Z. And I think that's fine. Thank you. Okay, so now to get it to wrap around the bottle. I'm going to go to the modifiers and I'm going to click on shrink wrap. It should be somewhere. Oh my god, don't tell me it's not here. Is that only for curves? No way. Oh, here it is. Thank god. I almost cried. Okay, and then target is the bottle. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's beautiful. Why is it smaller though? Interesting. So, I feel like it's going to go over here. So, on the plane, or maybe I should have, I don't, never mind, I don't know. What if I do, that's weird. Whatever. So, um, why is it like that? Excuse me. Where did it go? Is it like that? It's so weird. Like, I need it to wrap around the plane. Why are you- what is- what do you not understand about that? Oh my god, I guess I'm gonna have to go into edit mode and make it myself. Um, what is going on? Okay, so right there, let me delete- okay, right. So, um, I'm gonna take this, right? I'm gonna do edit mode. And I'm gonna do, 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 do control R um here. Okay. Let me do front. Nope, 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 nope. 
No, no, no. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let me delete that. Emergency. Oh my god, can I do anything? <gasps> what? What is wrong with this thing? Stay on the Z. Okay, now control R on the edge. I'm gonna do it over here. And then another control R. I'm gonna put it somewhere over here. And then I'm going to take this edge and I'm going to apply a bevel. Hopefully it works. And of course it's not working. This is so annoying. Like, actually, so annoying. <laughs> okay, maybe if that doesn't work, we could do something else. Like,. We make something up at this point. Um, okay, I can scale it on the Z. Okay, and then move it up. And then I can take this edge. I can take this edge. And then maybe I can apply a bevel. I don't know. I am literally about to cry. What is wrong with this thing? What if I delete this, right? I go shift A, plane, go here, rotate it 90 degrees on the Y, and then make it, oh no, that's not what I meant. Where did it go? Where did it go? It deleted. Okay, are you, is this a joke, bro? Shift A, plane, rotate it on the 90. And then move it on the X so I could see it. Move it upwards. And then go here. Go here. And then extrude five. Jesus Christ. On the X, on the Y, on the Z, on the negative Y. There we go. Um, and we're doing three. No. Um, two. No. One. That's still a lot. 0.5. Yeah. And then. Oh my god. Can I add a bevel? Why is it not working? But it worked. It would work over here. If I add a bevel. Well, not anymore, but. This is the most frustrating thing. Okay. I really don't know what to do with this, honestly. Okay. Um, on the Y. Well, I don't really need it to be. You know what? You know what? Just go over here, man. I don't know what to tell you. Um, and then from there. <gasps> Am I dumb? I didn't need to do this. I just need to put the text directly on the thing. Or did I? I don't know. Wait, I'm so confused now. Yeah, no, no, no. I could do the text on the thing. Hold on. I'm going to do shift I. I could do text. Um, okay, for the and then. What is going on with this thing? Okay, um, so we go into edit mode and we go here, we, we say not, 
And then, out of edit mode, um, I'm going to take this one and bring it up here. And then I'm going to do modifiers, and then shrink wrap, and then on the bottle, and then I need it to be up here, and then a little bit this way, and a little scaled down, and a little bit this way, and a little bit up there, and a little 0 0.1 that way, like. No, 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 honey, 0 0.01. And then can we give this a geometry? Like, um, extrude. That's really bad. But then I want an offset to be one. That's horrifying. And that's what we have right now. Oh my god. Um, maybe the depth. So maybe we can extrude zero and then just have this zero and then have a depth. Where is it now? Does that look better? I think so. Um, just, I don't know. Like, it's a... Uh, we can give it a font, can't we? Yeah, we can give it a font. I just don't know what font to give it. Um, wait, like I need a, like a th I need thick letters because the T is very thick. Never mind. That's not. Why is it deformed? Like, why is it deformed? It literally is deformed. Like, it's not even straight. But it looks fine on- actually, no, it looks horrible. <sighs> Maybe if we do face... No, oh, it's because it's not big enough. Because this is more scaled on the X. This is incredibly annoying. So if I go to edit mode and I take this whole thing, scale it, I go to top view. Oh my god, see, I was gonna mess up again. Take the whole thing. Scale it on the X. And maybe see how that goes. No, now it looks even worse. What is with this thing? <sighs> this is so annoying. Like, can someone please tell me what I'm doing wrong? Because I would love to know. What if I just... What is a taper object? No one gonna tell me? This is like really bad. Oh, well, someone could have told me. But I could have just done that. Oh, nice. But I want zero. Nice, nice. Um, I want the center, but that's not the center. Is it? If I do front view, I messed up. Back view, right view, 
Man, but that's not the center, so do I have to rotate it? On the X, on the Y. Now what? Wait, 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 wait. I do tap. No, not tap. Wait, wait. wait. On the Y. Why is it like that? Let's see. Okay, I think that's fine. I can't, I'm not going to complain. I really cannot right now. Um, maybe if we go to material properties and... Oh my god, I can give it a white. Why uh, can it be like a lighter white? And then I think what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to do shift D. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to do edit mode and I'm going to do... Um, are you kidding me right now? Great. No, that's all I wanted. Why? Can someone just tell me why this has to be? And then it could be smaller though. I don't like the font. It needs to be like a straighter P. So where's the where's the font? Right over there. And where's the P? Quick burn box jumps. Everybody view jumps. Maybe this one. Actually, I like it. Okay, moving on. We're gonna do Shift D again. And move this down. This time it's gonna be way smaller font size. If I can find the font size, why am I always losing it? Okay, transfer. And this time, I'm gonna go tab. We're gonna do um, pet. Can I not do capital letters? Pet C. B, D, or, or something? I don't know. And then that, I think, if I could just move it a little bit. And then that and that will make it so much smaller. And then move it up. Move it to the bottom of the center. I think that looks fun. Where did it go? Can someone really tell me what it can like? Okay, I guess. I 
Keyboard. Here, I found it. Character space over. 1.5. No, it's too ugly. 1. I guess. Mood spacing, maybe? No, mind spacing. No. Why does it look so bad? It looks so bad. Look at that. There's so much clipping. What if I do a solidifier modifier? Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. That's literally horrifying, I'm telling you. I'm not showing in certain places like that. What is that? Okay, perfect. Let's present it. Okay. Oh, that's really nice. So then I guess I can fix the same problem by moving it, and by doing the same thing over here, just moving it a little bit. Oh, not that way, this way. Like that. No, no, it's still there. I like never closes. I guess that's fine. I'm gonna have to move this towards the bottom. Um, and then this is good. And then over here is kind of like a thinner. Oh my god. you shift D. Nope, that's not what I meant. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Like, I actually, I'm actually doing this. Like, I can actually put text on a bottle. Hashtag new skill. Oh my god, how do you save control X? Okay, and then shift. Not again. Shift D. There you go. 
put that to the bottom. And then I'm going to edit mode. I'm going to change it to um, only text. Oh, I don't want capital only calming text supplement. Do you see what they did there? Calming. So instead of using uppercase, they use lowercase. Calming. Get it? Calming? That's funny. That's funny. I see what they did. It's calming. It's, less, it's calm. Uh, uh, okay. Um, so anyway, I think we're going to do, we're going to go to sizes, right? And I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to bring that so down. Kind of a little bigger like that. And then um move it on the Y little. And then do shifty again. Right there. Tab. Do everything. And do a thousand MG C B D. And then Go back to object mode, do shift D again, and then I'm click C, tab, and then do one FL as 30 million. Christmas tree, Christmas tree. And this is so much smaller. And then this is mostly like more like up. And there's it's not really bold. So why is it bold? I don't know. If I add, I could always add a bevel. Where did it go? Um, modifiers, add bevel, and it'll look like that. And yeah, look more sharp. It don't matter. Anyway. Okay. Um, and then this could be, if I just go here to front view, I don't know. This could be a little better. Shift front. And Christmas tree. Christmas tree. It's like a little too wide. So what I can do is I can do it with control. Actually, I don't even have to do that. I could have just done this. I know it's it's too wide here at the bottom. And then over here, I feel like this could be a little rounder. And then
honestly uh, maybe at the bottom we can do like a little rounding rounding this or something and then I'll go to the right and then edit mode not really, but I'm gonna select this and then edit mode okay so if we go to tab mode and then we can pop probably like I don't know no because then that looks ugly how about I do like um, control R so then I put the thing a little bit down and then I do hold on hold on okay so then I put the thing a little bit down not me like screaming to get my sister to know that I'm recording that's amazing great Okay, escape. Let's just go. Control Z. Control Z. Okay, Control R. And then, why is it like this? Okay, and then, like a little bit over here. And then I take this. That's still wrong. But then I'll move it upwards. So it's kind of like. But it's not beveled, so I don't like it. It looks weird. That's really weird. Um, how do I make it so that it looks rounded? Oh, I and mean, maybe I could just no. Ah, uh, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Except the edges are too sharp. How do we fix that? How to fix sharp edges? I believe that has something to do with the modifier. Um, let's see. We have some modifier. We have subdivision surface. Maybe. Um, yeah. I'm so excited for tomorrow, only because it's Saturday. I love Saturdays. Okay, um, why is nothing working? Do I have it to put it before the bevel? I'm sure it's- <gasps> No way! I knew I was missing something. I knew I was missing something in my experience. I knew, I was like, I learned something that's so helpful and I completely forgot it and that was this. But here's the thing, I don't want the cap to be doing this, I want the bottom to be doing this. So, um, let me delete this and then real quick, real real quick, I'll go to tab mode, right? I'm going to go to the little asterisk thing, and I'm going to go to the right, right? And then, I'm going to take this whole thing. Actually, you know what I'm going to just do? I can just take this, P, right, by selection, get out of there, and call it, um, bottom of the bottle. And then I can add a, what do you call it? A sub division surface. Isn't that beautiful? And then make it at the bottom, and then... 
move it towards before the bevel. That is beautiful! I learned something new! I'm so happy. Um, anyway, let's just... Can we scale it? No, it looks weird. Um, Christmas tree. That's really nice. Okay, so we got that. Um, anything else that I would like to figure out? Um, there's like an edge there. Um, this is not so straight. So, but it is kind of. So maybe we'll leave it like that. Um, okay, I think we're done. Um, only thing is, so now let me just go over here to render. Not render view. Materials preview. Yeah, baby, look at how pretty that is. That's so beautiful. Okay, shift, um, I mean not shift, scale on the Y so that everything is like that. And then I can take this light and I can give it some power. Um, oh, it's already a thousand. How about I do a thousand five hundred? Okay, and then over here, like I just need it. Oh, because it's a point, I need it to be a sun. Oh, that's why. So a hundred. That's still a lot. Fifty. That's still a lot. Um, 20? Five, bro. Like, five. Like, I don't know what one you want. It takes away from the marble. Maybe if I increase the roughness of the marble. Um, and then I delete it. Hold on. Value. Um, disconnect. And then I do a roughness. It's very roughy. I don't know. Let's see kind of like the marble. That's the goal to do that. To see the marble. I just need the light to be like lighter. Um, and it's kind of going in this direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to top view. And I need it to rotate. I need to have a shadow here. Because that's what the shadow looks like. That's what the shadow looks like. But actually, it's not there. Actually, hold up. It's. It's that the shadow's actually. I'm gonna have to move it over here and then rotate. The shadow is like that. Like that, yeah. And then maybe bring it a little bit downwards. And then rotate it so it's like that. And then I don't know, I think that's fine of it, I don't know. And then just move this a little bit upwards. Um, I don't know, I don't like it. Like, the light is not giving. Let me go to the right. But left? What? Oh. Okay. Um, Why does it look so weird? Um, maybe I need, hold on, ah, okay. but then this is really like them. Well, it doesn't get shadow, which is an issue.
I don't know. I'm not a lighting expert here. I'm just gonna leave it like that. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna, huh? Oh, join? Wait, 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 what do you mean swap areas? Oh, it's because it's the same thing. What do you mean? Okay, whatever. Okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna go to cycles. Oh no, I messed up because cycles is different. I did it in EV. Whoops. I should have done this in cycles in here. At least we can see the marble now. But it's so Ew. That's really bad. Hold on, let me fix it. Um... I'm gonna have to get a shader. Shading. <sighs> okay, and then... I'm gonna delete everything. And then delete that too. And then I'm gonna do we got new right control shift T. Um and then add the marble. And then we wait five hours. Okay. Anything now? Okay, thanks. So control S and then rendered. Oh my god. And then I like going to, where is it, over here, 10, 24, and then do control alt 0, and then it should look like that, and then I do layout. And then I do control alt 0. And I'll run it. And I'm like, okay, and while that's doing that, I'm gonna go and make my thumbnail for my stuff, which I haven't even opened. Oh, this is not what it's for. It's blender. Um, blender, blender, blender. Okay, so let me open this up. Do this. Why is my internet so slow these days? Um, let me save this so that it doesn't. Oh my god. Wait. Did it um what happened? Okay, let me no, 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 no. This automatically saves, right? Because if it doesn't, I'm gonna find so slow. You know, I don't even care. I'm closing it. Okay. Um, this is the one I want to be on right now. Um, I don't think I'm in the right thing. Oh, I am. Oh, it's because it's there. Okay, so. Um, close. Close, duplicate, and upload.
Oh wait, I'm using Conquer Bomb right now. I think I'm gonna do like um, a day where I just focus on lighting, on like rendering lighting, because I really should do that. Is the render done? It's not even close to being done. It's fucking good. Okay, well, I guess I'll just have to end the video here. Oh. oh my god, it looks so pretty! Oh my god, stop. It looks a little off here, because it, it looks like a little beveled out, but it looks so good. It looks like it's paper stuck to it, but actually, it's beautiful. I love it. It's beautiful. I'm so proud of this. Okay, save as. Um, what am I calling it? Today's date. What's today's date? 29. Yeah. Um, render. Now, obviously, I'm proving some things. First of all, the lighting. The lighting. Marvel seems a little off. Like, all those black specks, I didn't see that in the material. Three, the bet, the little circle, it could be more rounded here. Um, it could be less sharp here. Maybe I should have added a subdivision so far. But I did learn something new. Like, I learned how to, um, well, apply the subdivision, um, subdivision, what do you call it? Modifier here. And it's like, I'm so proud of that moment. I'm really so proud of that. And the fact that I could structure this in the top is really good. And the fact that this ended up being good, oh, oh my god, stop it. Hashtag improvement. Okay, so let's get out of here, control S, and then get out. Okay, and then add icon, and then add cover. So then, we're gonna upload the image, which should be in the render somewhere. And then, is this it? Yeah. See, I can't even tell. Okay, add cover, change cover, upload. Oh no, it's gonna be different. Hold up. No, that's gonna be the Canva one. I have to upload that there. So upload. And then go here. It's always see, I wish I could do more lighting, but the more lighting I do, the less you see like the wall color and the and the material for the um for the, what do you call it, the floor? Yeah, the floor, so I need to call it the floor. Okay, so we're gonna make this bigger. I could just kind of size it up. Make that bigger. Maybe it's a, it's a little smaller. And then kind of match up the shadow. I think that's fine, right? I think that's good. Um, only thing is, why is this thing? Why is there a line in the middle? Has there always been a line in the middle? I did not know this. Okay, um, so downloading as a PNG. Um, and we're only doing page five. I thought I did a page five already. Okay, so we're gonna wait for that. Download. And then I'm gonna give it a five star because I'm really proud of this. Well, relative to what I know now, you know, it's a five star. Right? Obviously, in the future, we gotta do more. 
Okay, and then task, we did apply material, we modeled. I did use a curve, but I didn't actually use it in my, in my ending thing. We did render, screens, shading, layout, edit, we did image editor, and we did photo mode. And then I'm gonna call replicating bottle, I guess. All I do is rep bottles. Lighting, shooting, scaling. I don't think I did inset, but I did sub. Um, sub oh, I did, oh, I did subdividing. Subdivision mod. We call it subdivision modifier. Wow, I can spell subdivision, but I can spell modifier. Um, and I also did text. Well, I did texture setup, and I also did text. I don't think I've added that yet. Text, like, um, font I did, I think. Um, I did shrink wrap mod, but I, I didn't. No, yeah, yeah, I did use that. Okay, good. Blender template. This was a success. Um, let me add the image. So this one, let me delete this video. I used to do videos, but I just don't have time to do... No, I didn't used to do videos. I used to do GIFs, like, of the thing moving, but I just really do not have time anymore to do that. Um... Maybe in the summer I'll start doing it again, but not now. Okay, um, and then I'm just going to... Well, the image is already there, or actually it's not. Hold on. Um, so let me copy this, I guess. By day... 80 filter by day day 80 filter hold up filter by day <sighs> day 80 okay so materials tutorials I guess um, we do have an image so that's an image I guess I don't know Day 80 bottle. Um, we did that. We do have an actual material. Um, we didn't really use that. That's not important, and that's all I use. Did I search anything else? I don't remember. Um, okay, and then that's it for this one. Wow, I love bottles. Can you tell? Like, can you actually tell? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, anyway, bye.